This is Jim from Mooker.com. Today, I come to you with the public domain disclosure. Okay, an idea I had. I'm not sure if it's already patented or not, but I'm releasing my disclosure to the public domain. I wanted to take all the necessary precautions before uh, divulging this idea and it's in the build process so it's an apparatus for counter rotating magnetic field induction now you could go to mooker.com in the description and download all the disclosure documents the notarization documents the hex key the uh, i guess that's the sha key of the pdf that was um notarized and whatnot um now just for your reference i also have let me bring it over here in this screen so you can see I also have backup copies so I have official YouTube uploads which are unlisted currently of today's date of me actually signing the notarization and recording a public disclosure and showing the signing and more information in there for my personal backup I also uploaded the official document that was signed before notarization to uh, public domain which is over on um, web archive and that also has the date here is the official notary notarization let's see if we can drag it over here the official notarization stamp is here okay um, she actually put 1026 but that's just a clerical error because the upload date of this video is 1025 so obviously this was done prior to 10 so this is just a clerical error not a big deal but it's a legitimate notarization which i did pay for and went in person i also recorded the notary when it was being notarized stamp signed read presented all the papers so all the information i even showed the hex key of the pdf file in this video which is in this signing video, which is all date referenced. So this protects it from being patented. This officially puts it into the public domain. So anyone that decides to try to get a patent on this idea, yeah, I have all the legal protection I need with my um, notarization, ample proof, of the date which it was notarized and it was released to the public including this video plus it's listed on other websites which I'm not going to disclose here which are all time stamped so scrubbing all that is going to be near impossible so now I feel safe to explain the induction mechanism okay so I'm going to take an sh a shaft with two armatures on it. This is one that I had machined down. It's in the build process currently. I did make two prior models and it was showing some interesting effects. So in case that this is a novel idea, I wanted the idea and the, uh, and the paper and the information totally public sourced, uh, open to the public where they could do what they want with it. You can profit from it, you can make your own business, you can not, you can make it, you can do, you can modify it, you can do whatever you want. I'm not greedy and I'm not taking um, financial ownership of this. I donate this idea to the public. Now this does not guarantee that this idea has not been patented before or there, or it does not guarantee that there is not an active patent on it. So if you decide that you want to um, monetize this idea you are still subject to patent laws which you have to verify I'm just publishing my views and my theory here and I am building it so you can join the forum in the description and check out all the stuff that I'm going to post about this okay so what do I mean by counter rotating magnetic fields okay if a magnetic field is being induced to rotate, rotating magnetic field induces an armature. I can wind a two-phase, 90-degree shifted output coil on one of these that directly connects to the second one. And the second one is also wound with quadrature 
dual coils that rotates. That creates magnetic rotation in the second one. But notice it says counter rotation. I could change the direction of rotation either way I want by connecting the wires and either by switching the leads on one of the coils. So I could have it rotating counterclockwise or clockwise, regardless of what direction the physical armature and the shaft is rotating. Therefore, it becomes possible to create a virtually rotating magnetic field that is physically rotating in the opposing direction. Okay. Now, in order for it to actually rotate from an outside perspective, the virtual rotating magnetic field will have to be faster RPM than the shaft or the second armature itself. So that means when you create the two-phase AC to create rotation, it has to be of higher frequency than the rotation of the shaft because the second one is going to be one-to-one -one with the shaft. So if the field is rotating two times per revolution of the shaft, counterclockwise, the shaft is going to negative one, so it will be one-time rotation counter that of the shaft and armature itself. Now, why is this fascinating? Because in regular generator conventional builds, the rotating magnetic field travels the same way as the physical rotation. This invention allows you to reverse logic, to reverse the natural order of things. It allows you to rotate a magnetic field clockwise or counterclockwise while the physical armature is rotating in the opposite way. Now, if the virtually rotating magnetic field that's physically rotating opposite induces a coil, a counter reaction called Lenz's drag is going to take a place. Now, Lenz will oppose the magnetic field that is changing, okay? So it will act upon the direction of, rot of magnetic rotation, and it will oppose it, pushing the other way. But in reality, since the armature is actually physically spinning in the opposite direction of the magnetic field, lens will no longer be passed onto the source. In fact, there is good reason to believe that the lens drag will actually work in line with the rotor, therefore have something to work against or counter. Now, what do I mean by counter? Let me just say you cannot move your body on the ground unless you push off something else. You need something to oppose or to do work against. Now, when you walk, you push your foot against the floor and you push the floor back. You need a physical thing to push against. Now, if you were like dangling in space trying to walk, you're not gonna go anywhere. It's like walking on a treadmill. It's not, you don't have anything to push against. This is the same thing with current in an output coil. Sure, you could get some uh, potential for power and very little jiggling and vibrations and whatnot, you know, little power from a virtual rotating magnetic field, but if that virtually rotating magnetic field induces an output coil, the output coil's magnetic field needs something to push against in order to have real output. Now, in a physical generator, the output coil's magnetic field physically pushes against the rotor and that's where it gets its current and its force from because it has something to oppose. So many virtually rotating magnetic field ideas fail because it lacks an opposition to compress the output coil to give it something to push against or it lacks the output coil lacks anything to do real work against. Now in this setup because the physical armature is rotating in the direction that lens is pushing, so lens is pushing out, this is pushing out, okay, the physical work the coil does, the output coil is rotate the machine in the direction that increases the frequency, creating a feedback loop. <clears throat> so the entire paper is published at the forum below, including links to um, web archive and other places and the build is officially on so I encourage you to visit share and make this happen thank you